Hey guys, today we are going to focus on one card. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. This is what you guys wanted. You wanted me to talk about what card to actually buy that hasn't spiked up in price, and I'll explain the logic. So before we begin all of these videos, I will tell you how many copies I own. I own two copies, and it's not because I don't like it. It's just because I didn't really have the time to buy them, and my PayPal was suspended for a while for like a month. But now would be a good time to pick these up. I would be, it's one of those cards where if I had a hundred copies of it, I would be very happy because I cannot see it going down. So when you speculate on a card, one of the things you have to realize that can happen to a card is it goes down in value due to a reprint or something bad happens to it. This card, has pretty much hit rock bottom. It has been reprinted in Battle for Zendikar, as you can see here. I'm going to tell you, so in any speculation, there are different variants of it. You can buy Battle for Zendikar, you can buy the original copy, you can buy, buy the Battle for Zendikar foil, you can buy the Battle for Zendikar promo, you can buy the original foil, which I'm gonna get to that really soon. So my speculation is, Mainly on this card, any copies of this card should be okay, but the one that I really want to focus on is the original foil. The artwork is the same. As you can see, this is the current price for the Battle for Zendikar. You can buy on TCG Player for $1.50. I will also show you eBay, which is, you know, I'll show you different variants of it. You can buy from Card Kingdom, which is $2.99, but if you want to sponsor those MTG celebrities, that's, you know, what you do. I'm always about price. I'm never gonna tell you to buy from the more expensive website because like the way I've looked at look at this tangent, let's make a tangent. The way I look at it is you should sponsor yourself by saving yourself money. And isn't that the whole point of MTG Finance to save yourself money? So why would you pay double the price in Card Kingdom, right? Why, why would you do that? Anyway, in Europe, it is 75 euros, which is very, very cheap. So if you live in Europe, go ahead and buy these. All right, let's take a look at this copy. So here's the history of the graph. And I like this card a lot because it has history. There's historic reference that this card was about over $15, almost at $20. What happened was there was a dragon set, but even before the dragon set, let's ignore the dragon set because that's not going to happen every time. Let's take a look at RTR. It's a $10, it's a $5 card or a $7 card, and then it becomes a $10 card, and it stays at $10. That's where it belongs. It belongs as a $10 card. Now, you can see at Dragons, it spikes to over 15, looks like 17 and a half, because obviously Dragons, right? Then it gets reprinted in Battle and goes, sees absolutely no play and goes to Oblivion, which it currently is today. Now, if you were to make the choice of buying a Battle for Zendikar copy or the original copy, I would say there's no difference in non-foils, but there is a tremendous difference in the foils, or there will be in the future. So this is the original copy. The Euro one is one Euro from 75 cents. The Card Kingdom is 50 cents more expensive, and the TCG player is about 90 cents more expensive. So between this version and the other version, the new version, the new version has a sticker on it. I kind of like the sticker, to be quite honest with you, because it prevents counterfeiting. Not that anyone will counterfeit this card right now, but should it be a $15, $20 card, yeah, they're going to do it. And guess what version they're going to counterfeit. So... I like foils though, because foils are still very difficult to counterfeit. A lot of people say that they can counterfeit foils. That is just not, it is illogical. Why would you count, why would they do the additional step? The same reason they would never have a stamp on a fake card when they can just reprint the original card, right? So let's take Noble Hierarch, new and old. Why would they ever make a foil Noble Hierarch where they can just reprint they can just print so many more regular Noble Hierarchs and sell them as counterfeits. Or high 
proc, high quality proxies, right? As they call it on Craigslist. All right, let's, let's take a look at this one. Uh, we have a foil, what is it? A, oh, 7% off, nice. So it's $7.29 for a foil near mint original shaman from Australia. Now there's some shipping on it because it's coming from Australia and there are only one left. So that is a pretty good price. I mean, it's about 10 bucks. That's what a foil goes for at this moment in time with shipping and stuff. I say the original foil is where it is. Now, is there a Dragon ED8? Is there a five color Dragon ED8 deck? Yes. Have all the cards that people want to play in that deck gone up in price? No, not yet. And this is one of them. I like it. It's a one drop. It has, it is a dragon pretty much. I mean, you get the five, five dragon and it's a token creator without actually paying mana. So you, all you need is six land, which in the EDH, you can get really fast. You can ramp up to six in no time at all. And then you get a dragon. And I actually like it because I could imagine a scenario where this card becomes $10 again as a regular, but the foil is not going to be a multiplier of two. The foil is not going to be $20 for the original. If this card becomes $10, I think the foil hits $30. I think the multiplier is bigger in this one. Remember, the original version, there's not that many of them. That was Zendikar. That was Zendikar block. Many, not that many years ago, but... If you look at what else is in that set, yeah, those things are expensive. So I like it. I think it's a very, very safe speculation. I mean, what are you going to lose if you buy a play set and you pay $10 to $12 on it? What are you going to lose? Um, if you buy the Battle for Zendikar, so these are a little more expensive than they should be. That's why no one's bidding on them. But on TCG Player, you can get it for under two easily. If you buy you know, 10 of them, that's $20. That's $20 bill. If they go up to $10, you're sitting on $100 in trade. And I like it because dragons are good. One drops are good. Mythics are good. Foil mythics are very good. Original foil mythics are incredibly good. And dragons will always be something. Dragons will, they will always be the better dragon. So there will always be more of them. Not only will there be more, they're just going to get better in time, and who knows what this is. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.